with our periodic, non-periodic sentence comparison. Now, here we have an instance of the non-periodic or the loosely connected sentence like we discussed in the last video. And uh, according to the... Uh, according to M.H. Abrams and his definition of style, I, if we, uh, in this sentence, if we put a full stop or a period after uh, a certain uh, group of phrases, it will still make sense. It, it, it is not structured in a way where the period has to come at the end of the sentence and that too only once. And as you can see, the sentence is support, uh, separated at various junctures with semicolons, right? Uh, so now let's have a look at this sentence. He will tell you the names of the principal favorites. Repeat the shrewd sayings of a man of quality. Whisper an intrigue that is not yet blown upon by common fame. Or if the sphere of his observations is a little larger than ordinary, will perhaps enter into all the incidents, turns and revolutions in a game of umber. Right? Now, over here, the sentence could have been easily broken. It could have bro been broken here as well. So, we could have had, uh, in fact, a series of sentences instead of one long sentence, like, for example, he will tell you the names of the principal favorites and repeat the shrewd sayings of a man of quality. He will whisper an intrigue that is not yet blown upon by common fame. Or if the sphere of his observations is a little larger than ordinary, he will perhaps enter into all the incidents. So you see, um, it is very easy to break this kind of of a sentence which looks like one long complicated sentence into smaller, uh, into shorter sentences. That is by inserting a period and inserting the first person subject, he, right? Uh, so this is the non-periodic style. The third style he talks about is called paratactic style in which he says the different parts within a sentence, which he calls the members within a sentence, or else a sequence of complete sentences are put together. They are even more loosely connected by a simple connective and. And this is very characteristic of Ernest Hemingway's style. Now, you know who Ernest Hemingway is. He's the author of the great uh, work, The Old Man and the Sea. And uh, th this uh, paratic paratactic style is what defines, what determines, and what is the trademark feature of Ernest Hemingway's works. So, in, in fact, what uh, Abram says is that the members in this sentence from his novel, The Sun Also Rises, are joined merely by and so it's very simply constructed and it's very easy to understand. Now I'll read it out for you. It was dim and dark and the pillars went high up and there were people praying and it smelt of incense and there were some wonderful big buildings. So do you see just loosely connected by and look at the number of ands we have over so this is your paratactic style. Then you also have the hypotactic style in which sentences are specified. Uh, so the relations between members, that is different parts of a sentence, and the sentences are specified by words such as when, then, because, therefore. So instead of one connector and, uh, the hypotactic uh, sentence all, uh, uses multiple connecting words, right? And uh, in fact, you have other styles also, like the metaphysical style, the biblical style. Then if it's a scientific journal, it will be a very scientific, journalistic style. You have Shakespearean style, you have Miltonic style, which is very author-specific. So this was all about style.